It's okay. Welcome to the Dr. Janine Show. I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today we are talking about quercetin, hidden secrets they don't want you to know. It's going to be a great show, so thank you for tuning in today. I'll be talking about the sources and the food sources of quercetin, some of the benefits like weight loss, which is very promising, and it has a potent antioxidant effect as well. So we will be talking about all of that and the researched benefits of quercetin. Also, what to look for in a quercetin supplement. So stay tuned. We do have our trivia section coming up, which is my favorite part of the show, truth be told. And this week we are drawing for the season support and you'll understand why when I elaborate on this a little bit. So the season support, this is loaded with, guess what? Quercetin. So I want you just to attempt to answer the questions correctly. You don't have to answer right it doesn't have to be right it doesn't have to be perfect but just attempt to answer the quiz questions and you will be randomly then put into the pot and randomly selected as potentially one of our winners for this week congratulations to all our previous winners we've been reaching out to you if you are on TikTok, please make sure that you're following team dr j9 because if you are a winner we our team has to be able to reach out to you so follow team dr j9 as well if you're new to my channel welcome in i hope that you'll hit that subscribe button also click that bell so that you're notified of my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week i hope that you're all enjoying all of the content that we work so very hard at here at the dr janine show to help to educate you about taking your health into your own hands and of course doing it naturally if you do have questions or comments throughout the show my team is behind the scenes they're feeding me questions of course i see TikTok right in front of me and it's so good to see you all. So if you do have questions, comments, you just want to say hello. I appreciate all of the likes and all those presents you can send me throughout the show as well. So thank you for all of that. This is a podcast as well. So if you're listening, please enjoy the show. So what is quercetin? Well, quercetin actually is derived from the Latin word quercetum, and this means oak forest. And it's classified as a very potent antioxidant. It's known as a flavanol. And it's something that is not produced by the human body, meaning that we have to get our, this flavonoid from the outside, from the diet, or sometimes from a whole food supplement. So it is very yellow in color, and I actually have it here. So if you look at the natural coloration of quercetin, it is very potently colored and it is yellow. So anything in nature that has a bright pigmentation, you know that typically it will be very high in antioxidants. And that's where you can see that active quercetin in this capsule form. Now it is insoluble in cold water. It is a little bit better solubility in hot water, but things like healthy fats will help with the absorption of quercetin. So it is is one of the very most important plant molecules that we know and some of the pharmacological activity shows that and in the studies show that it has a potent antiviral effect it is pro-metabolic so helps with our metabolism which we'll be talking about and has strong anti-inflammatory effects as well so this is the great thing about quercetin and when we talk about what it helps with you may have heard or have even used quercetin for allergies it is a potent antihistamine and a lot of natural antihistamine you know supplements do contain quercetin it's also known to help with lung health because it does have that antihistamine effect but it also has an anti-inflammatory effect and that's why it can be really helpful for asthma and you know chronic inflammation in the lungs now in this study it actually shows that that anti-inflammatory effect which we see and on the effects in terms of the anti-inflammatory factors and clinical symptoms in women most specifically with rheumatoid arthritis. So this was a double blind randomized controls trial and they found that early morning stiffness, which is very common in anybody who does have, you know, chronic stiffness from rheumatoid arthritis, that the quercetin supplementation for just eight weeks significantly reduced that early morning stiffness. So that's really something that is promising. And again, being completely natural, that's why I like to educate you about, you know, if you're struggling, if you do have pain and inflammation and maybe it's not 
not just rheumatoid arthritis, it could be gout as well. It could be, you know, female endocrine disorders that like PCOS, and there's a lot of inflammation in the lower quadrant that that can be, again, alleviated with a natural supplement like quercetin. There are also studied cardiovascular benefits. So we know that quercetin helps to prevent blood clotting. So this is really important and as well as lowering LDL cholesterol. So that less favorable type of cholesterol. So really helping with our blood lipid profile and helps to control blood pressure as well. So really important for the cardiovascular system. It's also known to help cataracts and other eye related disorders because it is a strong antioxidant, remember, as well as cognitive impairment. So in this study, it was shown that to help with the ability to have proper cognition, and this is in a quercetin-enriched diet during early, middle, and not middle late stages of Alzheimer's disease ameliorated the cognitive dysfunction. So that's something that, again, very promising research has been done on quercetin and it's ongoing, especially with, you know, some of the craziness that has happened in the world most recently that quercetin has really been known and is in clinical trials to really help in terms of immune function as well. We also know that quercetin helps with the skin and it directly stimulates the growth and the division of our mitochondrial cells. We know that mitochondria is what helps us to produce our energy and these are our tiny little batteries in our body which fat burning, this is where this happens and our ATP is actually produced. So this is really something that, you know, maybe you never would have thought as, of quercetin as something to help with weight loss, but the results are definitely promising. So researchers from the School of Applied Physiology at the Georgia Institute of Technology found that on average, quercetin provides a st st statistically significant benefit in human endurance exercise capacity. So if you've heard of VO2 max and endurance exercise performance, so, you know, utilizing quercetin perhaps either just before exercise, which is when I prefer to take it to really help, not only because it has that anti-inflammatory effect, so you can sort of get through a hard workout more easily because you're lowering that inflammation and perhaps some pain as well, but also to help with your VO2 max. So your oxygenation, you know, is very important when you're doing, you know, some heavier types of exercise. It's also been shown to help with chronic fatigue syndrome and in longevity studies. So we know that the sirtuin 1 enzyme is definitely linked and NAD is linked to longevity. So quercetin has shown some promising results in this department as well for longevity and living a long health span. We also know that quercetin, and this is where the clinical trials are happening in terms of viral infections, it has an anti-cancer effect as well, which is really important. So that's very promising and helps with chronic infections of the prostate. So for men and with prostate enlargement, this is something that definitely you want to think about in terms of prevention, but also from, you know, a symptomatic and treating the symptoms, quercetin can be of great benefit as well. We also know that it helps with skin disorders. So including dermatitis and even hives, because we know that hives are often related to that histamine response. So quercetin is very helpful here. And we also know that studies have shown that it helps to stop cellular proliferation. So when we talk about the cancer and the anti-cancer properties, helps to stop cell mutations as well, helps to slow the growth of tumors and some of the symptoms that are related to typical, you know, cancer treatments can be mitigated by taking quercetin. So whether it's chemotherapy, radiation, quercetin can actually help with some of those negative side effects, which a lot of people may not realize. It may not be something that, you know, a doctor has explained to you, and that's really important as well. Quercetin also has a potent anti-aging effect. So because we know that it helps with our mitochondrial health, this is really important, but it is also shown to help with increasing our ATP levels. So you know those little nanomotors that I spoke about, especially when I talked about the deuterium depleted water, these nanomotors are producing ATP in our mitochondria. And these are our energy producing, you know, powerhouse cells of the body. And those nanomotors spin at 9,000 
thousand revolutions per minute. So they are pumping out a lot of energy, energy potentially, and quercetin can actually help with the function of those nanomotors. So if you're lacking in energy, maybe you are quercetin deficient, if we can say that, you know, not that anybody would ever diagnose that, but I'm saying, you know, maybe this is something that you would consider in terms of upping it in your diet. And I'll get to the dietary sources of quercetin in just a moment, but taking a concentrated supplement may be something that you would consider as well. Now, quercetin is equally or even more effective than resveratrol. So we know resveratrol, we've heard about this, you know, in terms of longevity, energy, anti-aging benefits for the skin. But in this study that it was found that quercetin is equally or even more effective than resveratrol in attenuating tumor necrosis factor alpha mediated, mediated inflammation and insulin resistance in primary human adipocytes fat cells. So yeah, this is huge. I mean, this is huge. It also helps with weight loss and helps to lower leptin levels. So you know that I'm the queen. Can I call myself that? The queen of talking about leptin resistance. But in this study, we know that the quercetin has, again, the onion peel extract. So this is, you know, one of the best sources of quercetin reduces the percentage of body fat in overweight and obese subjects. This was a 12 week randomized double blind placebo controlled study and they found that the resting energy expenditure and of course having more of that quercetin helped to reduce that body weight and the percentage of body fat and this was measured on a DEXA scan. You know levels of blood glucose and leptin were also decreased in both groups. So this is something that is really really promising. So if you're just tuning in I'm talking about quercetin, hidden secrets that they don't want you to know. Hello to everybody who's streaming in today. Hello to Daryl and Parker. Yes, you can use the quercetin for sinus. Absolutely. Arletta, hello. Nice to see you. Is milk thistle seed tea beneficial for the liver? Absolutely. It's something that I've talked a lot about in my detox videos. So check those out, Arletta, if you haven't yet seen those. And thank you to everybody who's tuning in. So, um, Jewel, is it Jewel? Julian Bling, I like that. VL, nice to see you. Um, Erica Molman, yes, I do take quercetin, especially, and I will. I will share my own personal story with quercetin, which was sort of by accident. So knowing all the research, you can imagine. <laughs> it's funny. Everybody at the Dr. Janine show kind of laughs about you know what they would potentially envision is floats through my mind because I do a lot of research. There's a lot of stuff in this, like stored on this hard drive. Um, and so, you know, in knowing all of the benefits of quercetin, but then realizing I never really made the connection for myself. So I, I was taking it in very high dosages at the tail end of summer here in Canada where ragweed and goldenrod is abundant. And it really helps me with, you know, some of my allergy symptoms and sneezing and things. And then sure enough, I found that I had zero, like absolutely no pain. And I, I have chronic back issues and, you know, I overdo it with my workouts and things. So I had no pain and I didn't make the connection. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling so good, you know, despite all of the crazy exercise and things that I do and, um, you know, the weekend warrior sometimes and, and no pain. And then I thought, oh, that's interesting. What's different? Well, I'm taking the high, high dosage of the quercetin capsules for my allergies. And sure enough, went and looked back at, then I really had to know for myself the research benefits of the quercetin and looked at some of the studies in terms of it being a potent anti-inflammatory and a natural painkiller. I'm like, aha, that's it. So when I made that connection for myself, it was something that I shared on television, you know, in talking about quercetin um, and talking about, you know, dealing with allergies and having that side benefit of having that strong anti, you know, inflammatory effect and being for me something that was great for my joint. So that is, you know, that's why I take quercetin and I take it regularly now because it just keeps me, you know, very mobile without having some of those aches and pains that I would normally have. So absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about some of the food sources of quercetin. So the top, top source, I hope you love them, is raw capers. So yes, capers have a whopping 233.84 milligrams of quercetin per 100 grams of capers. So put this on your pizza, put this in your soups. I don't know, put it on crackers with some cheese. I don't know how you're gonna eat them, but capers are fantastic for quercetin, as well as elderberry juice. So the concentrated elderberry juice will have 108 
milligrams per 100 grams. Coriander leaves, and again, raw coriander leaves. Now, I don't know anybody who's consuming this, but if you are, then you're getting a lot of quercetin, 52.9 milligrams. Thank you. As well as fennel leaves. So raw fennel leaves will have 48 milligrams. We know that, and the fennel we know is great for the digestive tract, so that's awesome. As well as red onions. So raw red onions will have 33. So usually when you know people talk about quercetin, they, they often talk of onions as the top source. So this is probably typically in your own diet where you may be getting the most quercetin at 33.43 milligrams per 100 grams. Okra. So in certain cultures, you know, they love okra. It's very high in quercetin as well, 24 milligrams. Buckwheat also has quercetin. And raw, you know, regular onions, white onions will have 21 milligrams. Bee pollen, and this was surprising to me. I shouldn't be a surprise. But again, from nature, bee pollen has 20 milligrams cocoa. So no wonder I love chocolate so much. So dry cocoa powder, unsweetened, 20 milligrams. Scallions, so raw scallions. So again, in that onion family, 18 milligrams. I love this one. If anybody knows what this is, please put it in the comments. Bog whortleberries. So wild bog whortleberries, <laughs> say that 10 times fast, 17 milligrams of quercetin. Cranberry juice, also 16 milligrams. A green chili peppers, 14 milligrams. Uh, raw peas, so green peas, 14 milligrams. And black plums, 12 milligrams. Asparagus also has quercetin at 12 milligrams. Red leaf lettuce at 11 milligrams. Fresh oregano seven milligrams and red wine so i don't know if francis is here red wine yes does have some <laughs> quercetin which is great so here's an interesting fact in one study they found that organically grown tomatoes had 79 percent more quercetin than chemically grown fruit so that's something to consider that your quercetin levels may be that was just one you know investigation that was done but in if you're going organic definitely you may be getting more of a quercetin component in your organic produce so if you're just tuning in welcome to the dr janine show we are talking about quercetin hidden secrets that they don't want you to know i want to see hello hello um i will share that in just a moment so people are talking about brands so i promise that we'll put links below in terms of what I take personally below the video in YouTube. Okay, so when we talk about the best types of supplements and what dosage to take, typically a supplement is going to be between 100 and 500 milligrams twice a day of your quercetin. So for instance, in this one, you are getting 350 milligrams in two capsules of a daily dosage, which typically is something that I would be taking, you know, when I'm upping my dosage to really, you know, hit out that, that antihistamine effect, then I'm usually taking up to double that dosage, sometimes triple that dosage in a day, depending on the day. Now, now that I've learned for myself for the chronic inflammation, this is something Something that you know definitely I I will up my dosage if I find that I've really done something you know in, in my workout and, and I've tweaked something but since I've been taking it regularly I find that um, I don't need to go much more than the regular dosage which is the two capsules per day 350 milligrams for me personally is what I do but of course you're gonna work with your practitioner and you know find the right dosage for you now it is best absorbed if you're having it with some healthy fat so that's something that you know not a lot of people talk about but not all supplements are created equal so you really want to look for on your labels so please check your vitamin labels if you don't do it right now do it after the show look for the non medicinal ingredients it's on every label of product and it has to be there that's a labeling law especially in north america non-medicinal ingredients and it will say something like magnesium stearate it may say titanium dioxide silicon dioxide so these are fillers and flow agents that will compromise the absorption of that quercetin so you're everything good that you're taking when it's got all of these fillers and flow agents it's going to decrease that absorption of these raw materials that are helping you and not to mention that your body also has to detoxify them so this is something that i talk a lot about and educate people a lot about on television but here on social media as well 
please start checking your vitamin bottles. You don't, and of course the one that I take, it doesn't contain any of those things. So that's really important because I know I'm getting that rapid absorption and no wonder it works so well and so quickly for me um, and for others as well who do the same because it's not compromised by you know having a coating effect from the magnesium stearate and it's not filled with things in the capsules and that's why you know a great example you can see that bright yellow color there's no white filler or you know microcrystalline cellulose or and silicon dioxide those are all white fillers you don't see any of that in this formulation so i like again whole food supplements naturally sourced i promise we'll put links below the description in the youtube video but i like the quercetin from a plant called sephora japonica so that is naturally very high in that whole food quercetin and that's the way that i take it um, to get the beneficial uh, physiological effects okay so one of the things that you may have heard of most recently is the combination of zinc plus quercetin. So quercetin, what that does is it really helps with the ability to, you know, with your zinc to help to open up a channel. So when we talk about zinc absorption, we want to open up that channel. And that's why you may have heard that quercetin is a zinc ionifer. Now zinc is positively charged and here you can see that ionifer effect opening up that channel for you to allow for that zinc which is positively charged to get past that fat soluble cell membrane and that's why we have to open up that channel which is not doesn't usually open up you know very well to positively charged ions and that's what the quercetin will do will open up that and that's why it's called that ionifer it opens up that passage to, for zinc to get into the cells so it can do what it needs to do and a great combination if you didn't know is zinc plus the quercetin but we also know that curcumin so if you which is something that I take as well so you know curcumin which is the active component of turmeric helps to also be a zinc ionifer which is fantastic egcg is also a zinc ionifer and helps to open up those channels so there's certain sort of combinations of my own supplements that i take um which is something that I'll, i can discuss in the after show tomorrow on TikTok. we will i'll go through some of you know some of these combinations that i take personally to be able to ensure that proper absorption of the zinc which of course has antiviral effects if you've heard about things happening in the news absolutely Absolutely, that a lot of these combinations that I take are for a very special reason. We also know that the quercetin helps to limit something called glucuronidation. So that turmeric plus the quercetin is something that in terms of being able to, you know, you've often seen that turmeric is mixed with black pepper in most formulations. And that's something that, you know, sure, it's great, but not everybody can tolerate pepper. So that's why I personally prefer to take the quercetin plus the turmeric because it decreases, you know, that compromising glucuronidation, which doesn't necessarily allow for the proper absorption of your turmeric. So that's something that, you know, you can also consider. Now, we also know that the combination of quercetin plus resveratrol, when we're talking about anti-aging and the beauty benefits for your skin and for longevity as well, we know that that they help each other in terms of the absorption and the bioavailability of that resveratrol. So here's a great food combo. Red wine, we, we, we know has some quercetin, but also some steak and onions and mushrooms would be a great way to ensure, you know, some fats to help with that quercetin absorption as well. And of course that quercetin in the onions, I mean, what a great meal to have, but you're also maximizing your health in doing that. Of course, not for the vegetarians. Um, I would have other options for you. I have a lot of capers and that would be, you know, the number one source from a vegetarian source of getting in that quercetin from the food source. So today we talked all about quercetin, the hidden secrets that they don't want you to know. I want your, I know it's a lot of information. Please refer back to the show. I know we're live, hello, on TikTok and on Instagram and, of course, on Facebook and YouTube. So go back. This will be on YouTube. So go back and refer back to it uh, so you can take your notes and, you know, learn more and do some more research on your own and really, you know, evaluate for yourself and your own health if this is something that you want to add into your daily, you know, supplement routine, your daily diet, of course, from a whole food source as I do. And at, like I said, I'll talk more about that in the the after show tomorrow morning on TikTok. Okay, we are at quiz time. Are we ready? This is so, this is so 
so much fun. This is the best time of the show. I think it's so much fun. So hello to everybody who's here. Um, and hello, I can see everybody on Facebook and on YouTube is coming in as well. And of course, on TikTok and on Instagram, I've got you in my ear. Okay, are we ready? So don't forget, we are drawing for this. So just do your best. I, I completely appreciate your tuning in for the first time. You don't know, you know, where these questions will be coming from. Just as a hint, it usually comes from last week's show. So the Dr. Jean show is every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, so th this is what you're drawing for. So just attempt to answer the questions. You don't have to get the questions right. Just do your best, type in your answer. And I've got my team feeding me your responses. I'm gonna do my best to shout out as many of you as possible. Hello, Nadia is here on YouTube. Nice to see you, Daryl Lynn as well. And I know a bunch of people, Arletta is here um, as well on Facebook. Sonia is here as well. And who else do I have here on TikTok? Um, Erica is here, Rhonda's here as well. Sharon, hello, hello. I know Steve was here. I know um, No Doubt is here. Hello, hello. Rami is here. So some of my regulars are here. Steve is here. Uh, Jamil is here. Hello, hello. Good morning. DPS Sherry is here. Lee, Lee for Free is here as well. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of my regulars. So that always makes me so happy. Hello, who else? Francis is here. Hey, Francis. I hope you saw the part I was talking about, Francis, about wine and steak and enjoying more quercetin absorption and doing things the right way when you have a good meal. Okay, here we go. Quit section. Question number one. True or false? We have light receptors on our skin. True or false? We have light receptors on our skin. Phi is here too. Hi, Phi. How are you? Um, Bear19660, DPS Sherry, good. Erica, Molum, good. Kalan, good. C. Logan's here. Hi, how are you? Um, JRW is here as well. Wow, all the regulars are here. Awesome, awesome. Kate? KQN is here on, on Instagram. Hello, hello. Spud1927 is here as well. Hi, nice to see you. Uh, sorry? Duchess MMB, good job, good job. Uh, Daryl Lynn, good job. Bonnie, 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 sorry, I can't read. Oh my goodness, Bonnie. Um, nice to see you, good job, good job. Marie is here as well. Okay, anybody else have an answer for me? Ms. Toasty? <laughs> I like that, that's awesome. <laughs> Ms. Toasty, that's good. Um, anybody else? Samantha, good job on Facebook. Yes, so the answer is Ar Arletta, good. Sonia, good on Facebook. Um, Caldwell Cutie, hey. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Caldwell Cutie. <laughs> Franca, hello. Yes, good job. And yes, so the answer for we do have light receptors on our skin. The answer is true, absolutely. And that becomes very important for our circadian rhythms and the light exposure that you get during the day. So when the sun is out, you've got to have light exposure on your skin and in your eyes, of course, so no sunglasses. And when the sun goes down, you don't want to have too much so cover up. Um, and that will help with your circadian rhythms. It helps with so many things, with your hormones, with weight loss. So yeah, um, more on that topic coming soon. Okay, question Question number two, what is the healthiest light to use after the sun has set? Hmm, a little bit trickier. What is the healthiest light to use after the sun has set? I'm curious if we're going to get this one right. Um, the healthiest light to use after the sun has set. TikTok has it? Wow, JRW, good job. Liz M. Rock, hello, good job. Caldwell Cutie, good. DPS uh, Sherry, good job. Um, Baby Joy. Mm. C. Logan, good job. Raina, good job. Anybody else? Uh, I don't see it yet. Best type of light to use after the sun has... Instagram has it, sorry? Yeah, Who, what was the name on Instagram? KQN? 68, good job, good job. Um, anybody else? Uh, I see castles, good job. Um, another Reina, we have two Reinas here. 
Um, not so much, but thank you for answering. It doesn't matter if you're... Um, Vecchi, hello, nice to see you. Um, I'm 17 till I pass Amira. Oh, that's cool. Um, yes, yes, partially true. I'm 17. Spud has it. 1927. Oh, supernova vegan. I love that answer. That's awesome. That's a great answer. That is so good. I wasn't expecting that. That was that's great. Okay, so some of the answers. So I have to call out. So this this was great that supernova vegan said the moon moonlight. Yeah, moonlight is good. Absolutely. But also candlelight. So natural red light, um, candlelight, fireplace, low lighting. So keep your lights low in your home um, and red lights as well. So a lot of people had red lights right off. Uh, Sonia, I don't know, but I'll say candlelight. Yeah, because it's romantic. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a reason for that. Okay. Question number three. True or false? <laughs> this is too easy. Sunglasses are good for your health. True or false? Yeah, Francis, that's true. <laughs> that's good. Okay, somebody, yeah, people are talking about the fashion today. I see that Caldwell Cutie and DPS Cherry. <laughs> so funny. Oh my goodness. We'll come back to the fashion in, in a moment. Sorry, Liz Q has it already. Good job. Uh, Fi, good job. Raina, good job. Uh, Francis, good job. Um, Supernova. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Baby Joy, good try. Um, I'm 17 till I pass Amira. Uh, maybe. C. Logan, hmm. Bear in 1966. No, I'm going to have to take a stance on this because I see different answers coming in. So I'll share in just a moment. Frank, a good try. Samantha, um, Arletta, good job on Facebook. Mary, good job. Darylin, um, good try. Marie, good try. Yes, Nadia, that was a good answer on YouTube for the previous question. Absolutely. Very good. And you're right on, on this one too. 1998? Becky? Is it Becky? Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Awesome, awesome. Um, I'm not seeing it yet, I don't think. It's uh, Supernova. Um, okay. Vecchi, oh, 1990. Now I see it. Yes, 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 yes. Good job. Uh, Kalan, yes. So the answer is uh, Supernova's in, in Arizona. Yeah, so it's tricky. It's tricky. Um, it's false. So this is something that is I know it's like such a misconception that sunglasses will protect you from cataracts. Yes, I mean, within reason, in glaring sunlight, you've got to protect your eyes, absolutely. But our eyes definitely need the sunlight as well. So there's healthy ways to do it and depends on the time of day. So again, these are things that I share on my show. So if you missed, you know, some of my previous episodes, I will have more information coming out. This is what I'm working on on my next book now that will be launching in the near future. I don't have a date yet because I know everybody's wondering and everybody keeps asking me, but I don't have, we don't have a launch date yet, but working very hard on the book now. And this is one of the chapters because it's very important. Okay, question number four. Name something healthy you can do every morning. This is way too easy. For all my followers, this is, this is like so easy. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, good job. Um, good job, Steve. Good job. Erica, good job. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yep. My my followers are doing a great job. Raina, good job. Liz M. Rock, good job. Um Elsie Castles, good job. Caldwell Cutie, of course. One horse fifty eight. Awesome answer. I love that. Baby Joy eight oh one, good job. Phi, good job. Um Bear nineteen I like that one. That's good. 
Um, Josephine Instagram has it as well. Good job. Uh, there's a lot on Instagram. Okay, good job, everybody. Yes, Sonia, good job. Samantha, good job. Uh, Arletta, good job. So many good answers. Arletta has a very, yeah, has a very detailed answer. Very good job. Okay, so some of my favorites. I know um, Baby Joy, I love that answer as well. Devotion. Very good. Very good. Um, Becky, 1998, good breakfast and a workout. Good. Melbourne, I know. I know. Melbourne's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Lee Lieber. Lee Lieber. Uh, go outside, go barefoot on the grass and dirt. Absolutely. Uh, JRW, stay off your phone and devices. I love that answer. Yes, don't go to your phone first, please. You've got to meditate, give thanks. You have another day, get grounded. Do that first. Do the phone last. The phone's there. It's not going anywhere. Nothing's going to change. Um, if you just take those few minutes first thing in the morning. So sunlight, we know, absolutely. Meditation, yoga, prayer, deep breathing. Get grounded. Those are the best ways to start your day. Okay, final question, true or false? Safe sun exposure can help your collagen in your skin. Safe sun exposure can help your collagen in your skin for anti-aging, true or false? Supernova, good job. Um, is it Yang Astro, good job. Who? Yang Astro, happy birthday? Hey, happy birthday. Um, awesome. Caldwell Cutie. Good job, Baby Joy. Good job. JRW. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Yang Astro. Good job. Lily Burr. Good job. KQN68. Good job. Miss Toasty. Good job. Sorry? Kylie? Kyrie? Okay, good job. I, I got to turn you up. I'm having difficulty. Wait, no, no, it's, it's me. I have to turn you up. Okay, there we go. I'm like stud 1927. Liz Q, now I can hear you better. I just needed to turn you up in my ear. <laughs> she just said, that's my producer. She's like, nobody's ever said that to me before. I need to turn you, turn up the volume. Oh my God. That's funny. Jokes, jokes, jokes are happening all around today. Anybody else? Um, Josephine, good job. Uh, Caldwell Cutie, it's so funny. Yeah, we'll come back to that in just a second. Daryl Lynn, good job on YouTube. Nadia, good job. Anthony K on YouTube as well, good job. Franca, good job. Sonia, good job. Samantha, all good answers. So yes, yeah, safe sun exposure, and I'm actually surprised that I think everybody got it right, nobody got it wrong. Safe sun exposure can help your collagen. It's the infrared, the near infrared, the red light from the sun's rays, very, very stimulating for your collagen. And yes, vitamin D, so even UV, the right amount of UV can help with your collagen as well. You've just gotta know how to do it properly. It's like anything in life, once you know how to do it properly, then you get the benefits from it to the max. So today we talked all about quercetin, hidden secrets they don't want you to know. I hope you've got further questions and comments for me. So please drop it in the comment section as well. Please share this video. I love it when you are able to share my content. Give me a big thumbs up and all those gifts and likes and things that you can send me. It, it does, it makes it more fun for me, truth be told. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I am Dr. Janine. I hope that you'll click that subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so click the bell so that you're always made aware of my newest and latest uploads everyone does have a calling in life and mine is to empower you to live a healthy lifestyle and of course to do it naturally thanks for watching